How do you make an appointments form in Access? Um, we are going to make this main form. This is the main form and this is the sub form. The main form is based on the table schedule and the sub form is based on the table appointments. We have actually three tables, table appointments, table clients and table schedule. Let me show you what the relationship between those three tables is. Database tools, relationship. The table schedule has a doctor's ID, doctor's name, start date for each doctor, a break time for each doctor and an end date for each doctor. Make sure that when you are going to create a second table, table appointments, that that has also a doctor's ID, but in addition it has an application appointment ID, an appointment time, appointment date, and a client ID. Who is the client? You can find that in the table clients, client ID, client name. All these relationships are one too many, one too many. How do you make sure that that happens? Make sure that the one side here, that this is a auto number, long integer when you create that table. But this doctor's ID is just a regular number, not an auto number, a regular number with again long integer setting. And you can have multiple IDs here. This number has to be unique. That one keeps coming back for that same doctor has several appointments. But the application ID here is auto number, long integer, no duplicate. This client ID, however, because one client can have multiple appointments, is the many side. So this is not an auto number, but a regular number. Long integer. Duplicates OK? Yes. Table client. That client ID is an auto number. It automatically numbers that. Long integer, no duplicates. Client name is up to you. That's the relationship between those tables. Once you have set up those tables, they look like this or something like that or that one. Then we also have a query, just one query. This is what the end result is. I'm going to the design screen in the right lower corner, design view, and make sure that you get in there the table schedule, the table appointments, and the table clients. We take the doctor's ID from the table appointments. This one, not that one, please. Then the client ID from the table appointments. So this one, not that one. Then the appointment time, the appointment date, and the client name. Close the query and give it a name. Then we have to create the main form first. The main form is based on the table schedule. So the easiest way to do is that create form wizard based on the table schedule. And let's say we put everything in there. Next, column, next, give it any kind of name and finish. That's what the thing is going to look like. Later on we need a subform here. So we go to the design screen and we move the form footer bar down so we have some space. We widen the form. We are going to put here the subform. Design. Subform, sub report. This one. Click on it, go to the spot where you want it, click and drag it. Use an existing form? No, we use an existing table or query. Which table? The table appointments. Let's say we put everything in there. Next. Define my own. We want the doctor's ID from the main form to be the same 
as the doctor's ID from the subform. Next and finish. And that's what the thing is going to look like. You may have to design a little more. Okay, and this is what the thing would look like. These are only the appointments for doctor's ID 1. We add here a text box. How would you do that? Design. A, B is in text box. You click on it. And that's going to be this one. So I'm going to delete it because I did that already. Then the next one is going to be a combo box. Design. And then look for the combo box. Put it somewhere. Cancel. Now you go to the properties box. Right click on unbound properties. And give that one under all a name. I call the TXT a point date. That's all you have to do. Available time. I called it CBO for a combo box time. Then we did something to the subform. There is a box that was called client ID, but that is a text in the original version. So we are going to right click on there and change that to a combo box. Go to the properties of that combo box, call it CBO client. The control source is client ID. Okay. The column count is two. The column width is zero inches, semicolon, sorry, one inches. And go to the data tab and put in there a row source. You click on the three dots. Put the table clients in there and take from clients, client ID, client name, and make the client name ascending. I actually don't need that one. Close, query your SQL statement and save it. Yes. And now we are going to work on the VBA code. I'm going to start with the first one, the unbound appointment date one. When you go to the properties box and to event, we go to the before update event. And we are going to create there a code builder. And here is the CBO, let's see, text appointment date. Before update. And there is the text appointment date before update. This is the code you have to type in there. You have to spell that all correctly. I cannot go into the details. If you want to know more about this, you have to go to www.genesispc.com. I have a CD-ROM that tells you how to make VBA code. I also have a CD-ROM that tells you how to make forms. It's called your access to the world. Then we are going to do something similar for the CBO time option. CBO time. And we are going to use the event after update. And we put in there the following code. The only thing that you may have to change is depending on how you call names. This is the field appointment time. That's how I called it. If you gave it a different name, you have to change these names. I called the CBO the combo box time, CBO time, the text box at point date I called this way. If you did that differently, you have to rename those things. And then we need a very complicated one under the CBO time enter option. It's a very complicated one. I will show you this very briefly. You create a select case statement. Make sure that you type all these field names correctly. It's very case sensitive. 
make sure you put space here before the word from and there is the query we created earlier in this video and then we have in here the doc then the next section in that same subroutine is here everything is more or less intuitive i would say then we did an else statement you really have to type all of this exactly the way it is shown and finally we have to work on this guy remember we changed that text box into a combo box after we had set it properties we are going to say one on not in list and all you have to add to that private subroutine is the following again make sure that you have named things the same way i did i called the table tbl clients if you didn't you have to change that in your code so now we should be able to run everything here i'm going to close the properties box you will probably encounter a lot of surprises sorry i cannot help you on that issue if you get stuck on that you are on your own so all you can do is buy my CD-ROM how to work with access or buy my CD-ROM how to work with VBA in access. There can be so many surprises, especially if you are not, if this is completely new to you, don't think that you can do miracles with this video. And sorry, I cannot help you. I don't have time for that. I have other obligations, so I cannot do that for you. So now we should be able to do things. Let's say we want to add on this date an appointment. Let's say someone wants to have an appointment at 11 o'clock. Apparently this doctor does not have 12 to 1230 because 12 o'clock is the half clock, half hour break for this doctor. And all appointments are a half hour. If that's not what you want, it has to be much more complicated. Good luck. So this person wants an appointment at 11 o'clock. For Dr. One, of course, it's a new appointment ID. And let's say that is Mary Brown, who wants that appointment. At the moment, I click on another appointment. Mary Brown is scheduled for that time. So if someone else wants an appointment, then 11 o'clock should be taken. There is no 11 o'clock anymore. Someone wants 1.30. Let's say that is uh, John Kelly. And John Kelly got that appointment. If I go to another doctor way at the bottom, I can still make appointments for people here. I'm going to make a new appointment for someone at 3.30. Let's say that is Trudy White. From now on, 3.30 is no longer available. This is what the form does. I told you already, I prepared you. It might be tougher for you if you are very new 